hi everybody welcome back I've got my quarter one makeup inventory checking video to see how my makeup inventory is looking after the first three months of the year and I feel like I really need this video I'm not sure if it's because I've kind of went away for a couple weeks last month but I feel like I don't really know where I'm at at the moment with my makeup inventory I don't know what the numbers are kind of looking like I don't know if I need to kind of ramp things up when it comes to project pan and getting things used up so hopefully this is going to provide a little bit of clarity and I personally really love watching makeup inventory videos on YouTube so hopefully you'll enjoy it too. So I'm gonna, I have my laptop in front of me by the way that's why I keep looking down. So I've got my makeup inventory here in front of me, I'm gonna run through the categories. I split my makeup inventory into four different tabs, so I've got like a base tab, cheeks, eyes and lips. I haven't this year set myself any targets when it comes to each of the individual categories because I feel like sometimes I don't know what I want the numbers to be and if I set myself numbers I feel like I'm kind of like stuck to that I have to abide by that and it doesn't take into account you know changes and preferences throughout the year so I haven't set myself individual targets but just as a general rule of thumb I want my makeup inventory my makeup collection to reduce in terms of numbers overall and I want most of the categories to go towards sort of like one or two products in there not lips, lips are going to be the exception, I don't mind having multiple lip products but generally just to have a much smaller collection. So let's start off with the base section of my makeup. So starting off with primer, at the start of the year I had five primers and I do still currently have five, they are the exact same products that I started the year off. So there are three of the Bobbi Brown face bases. In hindsight I shouldn't have bought that duo pack that I bought during Black Friday. I bought it because I love the primer, I think it's the best primer I've ever tried and at the time I thought that's a brilliant deal, I love the product and now I'm going to use it, let's buy it. But I'm now stuck with three of them. <laughs> So there's three of those, one Revolution Super Base, which is the Revolution dupe of the Bobbi Brown one. That one was in my project pan, but I didn't really use it. I used it like three times, something ridiculous like that, so I took it out of the project pan. I'm now wanting to use it as a moisturiser so I have two of them up here so the face base and the revolution one I'm currently using the face base as a moisturiser day and night once I finish that up I'll use the revolution one so I'm going to use these products as moisturisers instead of primers because I'm just going to get through them so much quicker that way and then I also have the Merit Great Skin Instant Glow Serum which I have put out over here to start using as a primer haven't done that yet I don't often need to use a primer so that's why I've still got five but anyway hopefully by the next check-in I would have used up those two so that would bring me down to three foundation has changed slightly I started off the year on seven and then I finished off my Arborean CC cream on the 3rd of February so that's now brought me down to six foundations which is still far too many, it's five foundations too many. I do have two in my project pan, I've got the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk and the L'Oreal True Match Nude Plumping Serum. I've got around half of each of those products left so that means that that will take me another three months to use up. I'm hoping they'll both be empties by the next time I do this check-in video at the beginning of July. Might not quite make it though but fingers crossed I do. Once I've used those two up, I'll start working on the NARS Sheer Glow. I've then got a Sculpted by Amy Hydra Tint, which doesn't go out of date until halfway through next year, so that one's fine. And then I've got Merit the Minimalistic, which I haven't even opened yet, so that one's fine. I do have as well a mini Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Plus, which is a foundation that I took on holiday with me because it's a great little mini travel size. It's not the right shade for me, so I do need to mix this in with other foundations. So I think what I'm going to do... I think I'm going to leave this out and mix it in with the two foundations that's in my project pan because if I do that this should only take me like a week or two to finish off max and then that means I'll be down to five. So I'm going to do that, I'm going to leave that one out. So started off the year on seven down to six, concealer has stayed the same, it's the same product, it's the Vive Modern Radiance Concealer, I've only got the one and I only want one concealer. It takes such a long amount of time to work through a concealer that for me personally having more than one I think would just be too much stress because I would be thinking 
I need to use this current concealer up because I've got others in my collection. So this category is fine. Colour corrector, I started off the year on two and then I finished off the Bobbi Brown stick corrector. I've now got the corrector pot from Bobbi Brown, so the exact same shade, but just the pot version, which I prefer because it's slightly more creamy. And then powders, these have also stayed the same. I've got three powders. I've got a loose powder, which I use to set my makeup when I've put my makeup on. The Givenchy Prisma Libre in two satin blank. I really like this powder, it's so lovely. And then I've got an Hourglass Ambient Lighting Finishing Powder, which I put on as like my last step of my makeup routine. Not too keen on that one, won't replace that one. And that's also a mini. And then I've got a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, which is like a pressed powder, which I haven't really used that much, but I think I need to start finding ways of using that because otherwise that will just sit in my collection. Next is setting spray. I started off the year on one, but I finished off that setting spray on the 21st of January 2024. And I was thinking, do I need to buy myself another setting spray? Is it really something that I need within my collection? I went about a week or two without using a setting spray and I did notice the difference. My makeup wasn't lasting too long at all. So I did buy myself a, another setting spray. So I have the exact same one. I love the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. It's my favorite setting spray. So I had one at the start of the year and I still have one, but it's just a replacement of the one that I started the year off on. Okay, moving on to cheeks now. And there have been quite a few changes in the cheeks categories which is good because previously this has been a selection of makeup categories that don't really change that frequently but I have a few changes. First up is bronzer. I started off the year on three and then as part of my project pan I finished off the Revolution Ultra Cream Bronzer which is a lovely bronzer, would highly recommend it. And I've now just got two so I have another cream bronzer, the Merit Bronze Balm in the shade Quince lovely bronzer love that one as well and then i have a powder one which is the vive modern bronzer it's a duo in the shade light blusher has also changed i had five at the start of the year and again through my project pan i finished off two <laughs> two blushes i'm really really happy about that because blushes are so difficult to use up one of them was the vive sunset blush balm which is a liquid blusher that was in the shade Pesca, beautiful blusher. Finished that one off, and then I also finished off the Rare Beauty Stay Vulnerable Melting Blush in the shade Nearly Apricot, which is a cream blusher, and I would mix those two blushes together to create just a really beautiful, warm peach shade. Lovely combination those two were. So I'm now down to three. I've got two Vive powder ones, one in the shade Pesca, one in the shade Piazza, and then a Merit Flush Balm in the shade Terracotta, which I haven't used yet, I haven't opened. I want to use up my House of Colour liquid lipstick that's in my project pan that I'm using as a liquid blusher. Once I've done that, I might use other lipsticks as blushes. So I, I'm not quite ready to open the Merit Blusher yet. So I had five at the start of the year, down to three. Highlighters have also changed. I had two at the start of the year and I'm down to one. I finished up my XL Skin Dew by Vive. This was a 60ml, I believe, liquid highlighter. This was in my project pan last year, but it took me ages to use up because there's just so much product. 60ml of highlighter is just huge. So I started to mix it in with a body lotion and then I got it used up fairly quickly that way. So I now just have a stick highlighter from Merit in the shade Day Glow. No, in the shade Citrine, it's the Merit Day Glow highlighter. I've got some of it on today with a powder highlighter over the top. It's all right. My least favorite Merit product so far, I wouldn't repurchase it. Contour has stayed the same, had one at the start of the year and I still got one and it's the same product, the e.l.f. Halo Glow Contour Beauty Wand in the shade Fair Light. This is in my project pan. It might be an empty by the next quarter makeup inventory check-in video or it might just slip in ever so slightly into quarter three, but hopefully it will be an empty. And then face palettes have stayed the same, same two products. The Vive Dimension Face Palette, this is in my project pan. I'm doing really well with two shades, 
One shade is incredibly stubborn and does not want to look like it's being used up even though I use it the same number of times as the other two pans in the palette. It's very weird. And then I've got the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Palette in the Leopard variation. Eye products have changed a little bit as well. I've completely gotten rid of a few categories of eye products as well. So starting off with eyeshadow primers, this hasn't changed. Still got one, it's the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. I did have a glitter primer at the start of the year, the NYX glitter primer. I've now decluttered it. I rarely use this product. I cannot remember the last time that I used it. Not even sure if I used it at all last year. So very much out of date and was just a bit of an unnecessary product to keep in my collection. So I decluttered that one. Eyeshadow singles have stayed the same. I've got three by MAC. I'm trying to use up entirely Patina and Woodwinked. They're in my project pan. I would also like to use up all that glitters this year as well, but very aware that I have a lot of eyeshadows I want to use up this year. And then I've also got a single by Lisa Eldridge. I've got a solo shadow by Merit and an eye, mini eye tint by Giorgio Armani. I've not opened the Merit one or the Giorgio Armani one yet. I want to use up other eyeshadows first before I open those two. So six at the start of the year, still got six. Eyeshadow duos have stayed the same. It's my NARS is old eyeshadow duo. Love that little duo. Eyeshadow palettes have also stayed the same. I've still got three. I'm trying to use up the ABH Norvina and Modern Renaissance hybrid palette that I made. Got pretty good progress on that. I'll link my, my pan that eyeshadow palette video for you to check out. Once I've used up certain shades in that palette, I'll then start working on using up shades from the Revolution Reloaded hypnotic palette and then I've also got my Viva Essentials eyeshadow palette but I'm thinking of decluttering that one because even when I get to the end of the year and I decluttered the ABH and the Revolution one I still don't think I want an eyeshadow palette I think I just want a few singles and that'll do me eyeshadow sticks I've removed as a category I had the Bobbi Brown jewel ended long wear cream shadow stick but the shades weren't quite right for me they did pull a little bit too cool toned on me so I gave that to my mum so I now have no eyeshadow sticks and I also have no loose eyeshadow pigments as well I did have two both by peaches and cream lovely products gorgeous colors but I didn't wear them so I decluttered those as well Eyeliner pencils have stayed the same. I've still got the same five that I started the year with. I am panning two of them and I'm very close to using both of them up. The Peaches and Cream Papyrus eyeliner and the Kiko Long Lasting Eyeliner in four, which is like a dark brown. Hopefully they'll both be used up by the next quarter. Check in. And then I've got three by Victoria Beckham in the shades Cinnamon, Bronze and Copper, which I also want to use up by the end of this year. Gel eyeliner stayed the same. I've still got the same one, the Bobbi Brown Longwear Gel Eyeliner in Chocolate Shimmer, but I am contemplating decluttering this because I don't use it, and the shade is kind of verging on black. It's not a warm, mid-toned brown that I wanted, so that one might be decluttered by the next quarter update. Mascaras changed slightly. I used up the Eastern Laurent Lash Clash, so I've got two left. The Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara, which I do need to declutter by the end of this month because it would have gone past its six month shelf life and I'm very strict with mascaras. And then I will have the Merit Clean Lash in black. So I've got two, but by the next quarter update, it will just be the one because mascara is also another category that I don't need multiples of. I only use one at one time, so I don't really need backups. I can just buy myself a new mascara when I use up the one I'm currently working on. And then eyebrows have stayed the same. I've still got the Merit 1980 Brow in the shade Blonde. I've got it on today. Love this product. Such a great eyebrow product. Also a category that I only need one. And then final set of categories come under lips. So we'll start off with lip balm. Stay the same. I've still got the four Rode Peptide Lip Tints, the set of four. This one in the shade Toast, I'm very close to using up. I use this basically every day, so this one should be an empty by the next quarterly check-in, which means that I'll be down to three, and I do want to use up all four of these Rode Lip Tints by the end of this year. Lip liners have changed slightly. I did have five, but I finished off the NYX slim lip pencil in the shade natural i used that one up as part of my project pan at the end of january so i have four left 
I do want to use up a further two, so I am working on using up the Jane Erdell lip pencil in the shade Spice, which is very similar to that NYX shade. I have some of that on today, it's very much a my lips but better shade. And then I will work on using up the House of Colour Maple Lip Liner, which is like a warm orange brown. Don't have much of that left, so I think those two will be easy products to use up. I find it really, really easy to use up lip pencils as well, so I don't think they will be a problem. Not sure whether I will use up both of those by the next quarter check-in though, but for now, had five down to four. Next category is lipsticks, and there's been a decent reduction in the number of lipsticks that I own. I started off the year on 17, I have used up, let's check here, I've used up three. So firstly I finished up the Clinique Black Honey Almost Lipstick on the 17th of January. That was part of my project pan, that was an incredibly easy product to use up. It's basically just like a tinted lip balm, so it needs kind of constant reapplication throughout the day. Didn't really like that one, I don't miss it, I won't repurchase it. And then in March I finished off two of the Hourglass Phantom Volumizing Glossy Balms in the shade Crave and Haze. I love these products, I, I rave about these products so often on my channel. They're a great lip gloss, lipstick hybrid, beautiful products. But they're very easy to use up because also you need to reapply them throughout the day and you don't get a lot of product. So yes, they're expensive for what they are, but I, I personally just really like them. But I've used up those two as well. I sold a lipstick, I sold a Merit Signature Lip in the shade Tiger. I selected the shade Tiger when I bought the full set of Merit products, but when it turned up that lipstick was a little bit bashed, the lid didn't close properly, it wasn't secure, so I sent them a picture of it and they sent me a replacement one. So I sold the replacement one because that one was perfect, no problems with it, and I just kept the one that was a little bit bashed with the faulty lid. And then I decluttered a Giorgio Armani mini lip power matte in the shade 111 True. This pulled cool toned on me. This one I got with a perfume for Christmas, so there was no choice in the in the shade. So because it kind of pulled a bit cool toned on me and my mum is cool toned, I gave it to my mum. So from the lipstick categories, that is one declutter, one sold, three finished off. So I am now down to 12. I am trying to use up, as part of my project pan, this House of Colour Autumn Nude Lipstick. There's two other House of Colour lipsticks that I want to use up as well. So hopefully by the end of the year I can get down to single figures with my lipsticks and that will feel a lot better. I will still have more lipsticks than any other makeup category though because I love lip products. But I think single digits for lipsticks is going to feel a lot more comfortable and less overwhelming than double digits. Lip glosses have also changed slightly as well. I did start the year off with eight, but I finished off again as part of my project pan, a Kiko Clear lip gloss and then the Bobbi Brown in the Buff Crushed Oil Infused Gloss. Lip glosses along with lip liners for me personally are just really really easy products to use up because I can just keep putting them on throughout the day and I can wear them if I've got makeup on or if I'm makeup free. So finished off those two, so I have remaining my five House of Colour lip glosses. They have come out with more lip glosses those recently, but the shades that I have got are Warm Apricot, which is like a very kind of like lightly warm peach colour. It's great for that kind of very natural makeup look. I've got a Coral, I've got Copper, Rich Rust and Paprika, so I've got my three points of red and then a couple of other colours in there as well. These lip glosses are great, love those because they're so pigmented. And then I've got a Merit Shade Slick in the shade Au Naturel, but I haven't opened this one yet because I think I want to start working through some of these other House of Colour lip glosses. Even though they're still okay until 2025, I don't want to be opening new lip products or new products when I just have others in the categories as well. Similar thing with my single eyeshadows. So I might kind of work through Warm Apricot because I think that one could be an easy one to use up because that's the one that I have the least in. But had eight, down to six. And then last category is liquid lipsticks. This hasn't changed, it's the same one. Also by House of Colour and it's in the shade Nearly Nude. So a great warm pink brown shade, a great nude option for autumns. 
I find it a little bit too drying on my lips, especially at the moment where my lips are just crazy dry, I don't know why. So I've started to use it as a blusher. I've done that today, it works really well as a blusher and I will use it up that way as well. It's in my project pan and hopefully it will be an empty by the next quarter check-in. So that's how all of the individual makeup categories within my collection look. So in terms of overall numbers then, so I started off the year on 92 pieces of makeup within my collection. In the first quarter of the year, I used up 14 makeup products. I decluttered five and I sold one. And I am now down to 73 pieces of makeup and that's because I bought that setting spray. So I am really pleased that my collection has reduced by 19 makeup items. That's not too bad at all for three months for the year. That's the change in roughly six makeup items per month. And I'm also pleased as well that I've used up more than I've say decluttered or sold. Although I want to reduce my overall numbers in my makeup collection, I don't want to go about that by just selling products or just decluttering them. I want to use up the products that I've bought. So pretty pleased with the fact that I've used up 14 makeup items as well. That's about one every week. So that's pretty good going as well. So yeah, very happy with how that is looking. So like I mentioned, I will be doing a quarter two makeup inventory check-in video, but that won't be until the beginning of July. My next video is going to be all about my makeup purchases and whether or not I have stuck to my replacement only no buy. So I will see you in that video. Thank you very much for watching this one and have a lovely rest of your day. Bye. Mm -hmm.